Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder, and this is episode 5 of my Airfix 172nd Shackleton AEW2 build. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brilliant. Thank you! So, to begin this episode, we're going to be carrying on with the radar dome and cleaning it up. You know the bit that goes under the fuselage? So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! There's the radar dome cleaned up and holes filled with Mr. Dissolved Putty. We need to pop that to one side to dry. Also, as we have that out, let's sort out the inboard nacelle, shall we? Here we go with that. There we have that one done. Next up, we have a huge canyon to fill on the fuselage. I think I may have misaligned one of the frames on the inside, hence the size of the gap. To fill this, I'm using a suggestion from one of my subscribers, Byro Dude. Cheers for this tip, buddy. I'm using the top of a cup that came from a famous fast food chicken restaurant, doesn't matter which restaurant, just one of these plasticky tops, to fill the holes. I cut the bits out, shove them in, then I glue them, sand them back. So, here we go with that. So there we have that filled, glued and snipped back. We'll let that dry, then we can sand it back. Again, by Rodu, thanks. Nice tip. Now to close up the hole underneath. That's not as wide, so we should be able to do this with the clamps. Here we go with that. That's that done. So we'll pop it over there to dry. Next up, spraying the insides of the wheel bays with white, which is always a meh for me anyway. So let's get on with that, shall we? That's the wheel bays done. Next up, the grey firewall. That didn't take long, did it? Next up is some hairy sticking, these bottles. They've got a painted blue. So let's get that crack, shall we? There we go, that one didn't take long either. Next, another quickie, a filler cap to be painted black. So. Let's get that done. There we go, filler cap painted. That didn't take long, did it? Next, we're gonna put the nacelles together. But first, we have to put a firewall in 
and then we can glue it all up. So here we go with that. There we have both nacelles glued together, so we can pop them to one side to dry. Now let's have a look at this fuselage. Mmm, this seems ready for cleanup. So let's get the cleanup done, shall we? Here we go. Okay, there we have it, cleaned up-ish. There are ridges all over the place, which is frustrating, because you see other YouTube modelers who can get them perfect first time. Or do they? Anywho, I'm digressing. With the ridges, I'm gonna put tape on the high side, right in the very edge, then tape about five millimeters away from the ridge on the low side, then fill that gap with Mr. Dissolve Putty. Hopefully, that'll work. So, let's see how that goes. We have the areas that need filling marched up and a ah, little piece added there on the canopy not on the canopy on the cockpit I'll get it right eventually next up to fill them so let's crack that shall we There we have those filled. That will need to dry overnight, so pop that over there. Next, we can get the flaps prepped and ready for priming. I'll be showing these with the flaps down. So, let's get them sorted.
have the flaps cleaned up and test fitted. They look pretty good. Next up, we have the test fitting and fettling of the inboard nacelles because they look bloody awful. Once we've done said fettling, we'll get them fitted. That's the nacelles fitted satis. There will be a little bit more fettling required, but we'll do that later. Next up, the filling we did on the fuselage with Mr. Dissolve Putty. Let's see how that turned out, shall we? looks okay. A few parts came away but we can rectify that later. Anyway, let's clean up the rest and see what it looks like. Okay, there are still a few ridges and depressions from the moulding, so I'm going to mark them up with a pencil and use my homemade sprue glue to fill them. Here we go. And there we have all the ridges filled with sprue glue, so let's park that over there to dry. Anyhow, this seems like a good a place as any to end, so thank you for watching episode 5. If you want to see what happens in episode 6, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. 
Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.